People ask me, Druha, I have to leave my country. Where can I go and live good for under $1,000? Sometimes it is important to live inexpensively so you can completely follow your own mission. Here is my top seven of all countries to live for under $1K per month. For each place, I gave a rating for the most important parameters. Number one, low taxes. Number two, all year nice weather. Number three, buying power. How much can I get for $10? Three meals or just a coffee. Number four, good nature. It lets your soul breathe. Number five, honorable values. It is hospitality, good family values, and personal freedom. Number seven, Georgia. It is the heart of Kafkas. Good wines, good weather, beautiful people, and lots of old worry lives there. Texas are low, mood is good. In Georgia, they have saying that guests are sent from God. So, you know, you will be welcome. But we don't know how political situation will play out here. So, be careful. Number six, Philippines. Chebu is a beach paradise with great weather. Your money will go far here and you'll quickly make friends with welcome, family-orientated local people. Honorable people. Number five, India, Mumbai. Good beaches, good business opportunities, lots of talent and lots of chaos. But so many people are very smart and educated. You can do very good recruitment for your company and have a lot of adventures in India. Also, it is full of deep spiritual value. It will be good for your soul. Number four, Malaysia. The life in Penang gives you decent taxes and the blend of traditional and modern values. You get good buying power of your money and the country's mix of cultures can provide a good backdrop for your business while still valuing family and community. Good mix, Pratan. Number three, Bali in Indonesia. Bali is the digital nomad mecca. Very fine food and great nature will occupy your free time and you will work well with fast internet. There are lots of good expert people, so you will find good partners. You can grow both, personally and professionally. We like it here. Number two, Thailand, Chiang Mai. You will find a wellness-orientated entrepreneurial community, and you can set up your work as a remote freelancer and meet good people like you. Thailand has all the comforts of a developed country with the good soul of an old Buddhist East Asian country. I really enjoy it, but it also draws in lots of shady foreigners who come here for very dishonorable reasons 